What's up, Celtics Nation? What's going on, guys? Hope everybody's having a good day and enjoying the weekend. It is currently Saturday afternoon. So I hope everybody is having a good weekend. And uh, the Celtics 2020-2021 schedule has been released, guys, the first 37 games. So we're going uh, to run that down and uh, give you kind of a breakdown on what I think the Celtics are going to do this uh, this season. I personally, I have them, I have them going somewhere, uh, maybe around the twenty-five to twenty-seven game uh, wins. That's where I'm going to put them. So, for the first twenty uh, thirty-seven games, I'm going to say that they're going to go uh, twenty-seven and either twenty-five and twelve or. 27 and 10. I do think from looking at this schedule, there are a lot of winnable games, probably closer to the 25 and 12 mark. Um, there's, there's, their schedule is kind of soft, to be honest. I do think, uh, I do think they can win most of these, most of these games. Um, they didn't get any worse than last year. I know losing Gordon Hayward was a, was a massive blow and, uh, losing a big a piece like him. Um, is definitely going to hurt on the offensive uh, offensive end of the court, but uh, Neesmith and Pritchard and um, Tristan Thompson, I do think the Celtics uh, had a lot of um, had a lot of good good acquisitions um, in the off season. I just taking a second look at it, uh, I am kind of disappointed that we um, we didn't take some of that that um, like Gordon Hayward and I'm. A, you know, I'm kind of upset that we didn't package Hayward and try to get, um, try to get, a, uh, I don't want to say a superstar, but at least some sort of, some sort of, um, high end talent on the team. But, um, hopefully Pritchard and Neesmith will, um, will pan out like Danny hopes they are, they will. And, uh, and uh, really help the Celtics on the offensive, offensive end of things. But so we're going to jump right into this. We're going to get started. So the Celtics have a uh, an opportunity here, guys, when they start their regular season off to uh, to give Celtics Nation an early Christmas present. They start off with the Milwaukee Bucks on December 23rd. So they have an opportunity to give Celtic Nation a uh, an early Christmas present. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. I think um, I think Milwaukee is going to beat them to start their season. So I think they're going to take the loss there. Uh, next up, we're going to, uh, head to Brooklyn to play Brooklyn. I shouldn't say head to, cause all these games are going to be played at a neutral site. So next up, the Celtics are going to face off against the Nets. And even though Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are healthy, I still think, uh, Kyrie is a head case and, uh, just kind of, I don't, I don't know if the chemistry on that team is going to work out too well. Uh, even with Kyrie and Durant. So I'm going to say the Celtics get a W there. Then we have back-to-back -back games against the Indiana Pacers, and I think the Celtics are good enough to get uh, both of those wins as well. Next up, we have the Memphis Grizzlies, and I think that's a W as well, guys. I think that is a, a win as well for the Celtics. Now let's move this uh, screen up a little bit so we can uh, – see the rest of these games then we have back to back against the Pistons and uh, I think we're gonna win those as well I do think those those are two W's uh, those are two games that we can win as well so I will I will give the Celtics a W there next up uh, we have the Raptors and I think the Raptors are gonna um, beat the Celtics along with the Miami Heat who they play next so that's two back-to-back -back losses after a nice little winning streak there um, but we are going to get back on the winning ways uh, when we play the Wizards. I think they are going to beat the Wizards. Um, this is where I think they get their their revenge against Miami as well. I think uh, this time they will beat uh, the Miami Heat. So let's move this up and keep moving down the line, guys. Next up, we have Chicago and then back-to-back -back against Orlando, the Magic. So I think all three of those are going to be wins. We will move it on. Now we have the uh, New York Knicks, which I think that's going to be a win as well. I think we will split with Philadelphia. 
Um, I think, yeah, we're going to split with the split with the Sixers, even though I have no Doc Rivers is an interesting, uh, interesting situation there in Philadelphia. Can Doc Rivers um, write that ship and manage those egos uh, that are on the, the Sixers? Maybe. I don't know. I know he was very good at that with the Celtics. So maybe he can do that with the uh, with the Sixers as well. Next. So moving on, guys, we have Cleveland. Chicago and then San Antonio. I think, uh, I think um, we're gonna win against Cleveland. We should beat Chicago. San Antonio is interesting. That's a very young team, and uh, that is a very young team. There, I, I, um, I have questions about their uh, them gelling. So early in the season, it might take a little bit. So I'm going to say we're going to get that win there too. So once again, a nice little winning streak. Um, and then we come up against our arch rivals there, the Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, I think LA is going to beat us. I do. I think the Lakers are going to, I think the Lakers are going to beat the Celtics. And uh, again, I think golden state's going to be, I think that's going to be tough. I think um, even without Thompson, they have, uh, Curry there and they they um I think their offseason was was decent so uh that's gonna be a tough game that's a 50 50 game there I, I don't know I can't really pick a win or a loss there that's gonna be a that'll be a tough one so uh, Sacramento's easy we're gonna beat them the Clippers I think uh the Clippers I do think we are we're gonna beat them as well Actually, no. I take that back. The Clippers might might uh, Clippers might might hand us a loss, so we'll call that an L. Phoenix, I think we're going to beat Utah. We're going to beat. I think Toronto is going to beat us, and then um, we are at. Let me just scroll this down a little bit more, guys. Then we are at Detroit. Uh, then we're playing Detroit. I think that's a win. Denver. I think that is. Uh, I think that um, they might Denver might Denver might beat the Celtics. Um, that'll be a close game as well. That's another 50 50 game. The Hawks, both games against the Hawks. I think that is a a uh, I think those are both wins. The Pelicans, I think, is a win. Mavericks, the Mavs may uh, they may beat the Celtics, not by much, but they may beat them. Atlanta, I think that's a win. Indiana. Against the Pacers, that is a W. The Wizards, that's a W. Um, if the Clippers beat us last time, I say we beat that we uh, we beat them this time and get our revenge. And then finishing off against Toronto, and I think that is uh, I think that's going to be a. Uh, that's going to, we'll call it a W say they say they end the season on a W, but I have them right around the 25 to 27 win win mark there. I think the Celtics are pretty good. Um, I think their seat there, their these first 37 games are, are kind of soft. The, the, um, only real good teams are only the only real teams. I think that are going to pose a challenge to them are the heat, the heat, the bucks and Toronto outside of that. I think they, um, they usually um, will take care of business, but that's all I got for you guys. That's my breakdown of the, uh, that is my breakdown of the schedule so far. The first 37 games. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And I look forward to getting back into Celtic, calling the Celtics games. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun calling the Celtics games um, was definitely a lot of fun. Look, uh, Looking forward to seeing my uh, my Celtics, uh, the Celtics Nation representing in every stream. That was uh, that was uh, always a lot of fun. But once again, guys, thanks for watching. So I have them right around the 25, 27 win mark for uh, this the first 37 games. And I appreciate every single one of y'all. Let's go Celtics and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in those streams. Have a good one, guys. Butchers Block and Patriots talking. I'm out. Peace.